This Iron Defense Glass Shear and Loaded Dice Leech Seed Real Abuma was able to finish in the top 100 of the last Stadium Ladder season. We're going to be trying out this team and see how well the tools perform. This team features Iron Defense Body Press Glass Shear alongside Loaded Dice Bullet Seed Real Abuma. There's a few different modes to the team with some very fast options with the Icy Wind Speed Booster Flutter Main that can pair with the Darker Shifu to open up a lot of damage for an end game trigger mode. Or you could use the Flutter Main and Heatran and they might not ever expect the Icy Wind into a very fast Timid Heatran that allows you to knock out Xi and Pao. Xi and Pao is a little bit of a problem with this team and that is why you also have the Loaded Dice Real Boom with Bullet Seed to bypass any Focus Sashes and pick up the knockout. You also have the Real Boom providing the Grassy Terrain that allows it for great synergy with Heatran and the glass tree air with the leftovers and being able to survive longer on the field setting up those iron defenses and being able to do a lot of damage with the body press hitting a good amount of the format Cresselia able to help set up trick room helping hand support lunar blessing for the glass tree air as well as the heat trend and icy wind as well for the very fast heat trend once again and our shifu able to be used as a really strong wall breaker if you'd like to check out the details of the team and the creator they'll be linked in the description down below Fluttermane, Dragonite, Chien, Pao, Amoongus, Iron Hands, or Shifu. Is this going to be Water Shifu or Darker Shifu? Water probably, but just uh, a lot of physical attackers. Iron Defense, uh, Glass Year can do amazing this matchup if played properly here. Hmm. I actually don't mind. Do I want Rillaboom? I don't think I want Rillaboom in this matchup. I think Fluttermane is actually pretty good. Fluttermane Heatran could be like a really good combo with Icy Wind Heat Wave potential. And then in the back, I kind of like the Cresselia and I do like the Last Year. Like, I think it's pretty solid for the most part. Uh, the My owner Shifu kind of struggles with this. If it's Rocky Helmet on the Amoongus, there's obviously the two fighting types, a Flutter Main, Dragonite with Extreme Speed could actually be a little bit threatening. And I don't really like my Rillaboom too much in this matchup. It can kind of help, but. I think Glass Rear is such a big win condition. You need Cresselia to set it up. And I think the Flutter Main Heat Trend Lead is fantastic because the Icy Wind Heat Wave, KOing a Sheehan Pal, for instance, would be really strong here. So let's see if they give me that opportunity. So I have the Speed Booster on my Flutter Main. Speed heightened. If I get rid of that Sheehan Pal, the job's a lot easier. Gonna go for an Icy Wind. I am gonna go for the Heat Wave. Let's risk it. Protect is probably like the only thing that could really screw me over, but we'll see if they do protect. I think they might want to go on the offensive here and try to weaken the Flutter Main as much as possible. Going to be the Terra Normal on the Dragonite, which is not too surprising to get rid of any weaknesses to Dazzling Gleam, Moon Blast, or Icy Wind that could be coming out its way. Yep, they do attack offensively. They went for Extreme Speed into Heatran. Is this a Sucker Punch double up? Well, uh, I don't know what that... I don't know what that extreme speed was, but maybe they thought I was going to Terra to cover for a ground move. I was okay with training the Heatran if I get the Xi'an Pao. And yeah, I do get the Icy Wind Heat Wave combo. <laughs> Goodbye, Xi'an Pao. Amazing, amazing start right there. Okay. Perfect start. So we're able to get rid of the Xi'an Pao easily, which is a huge problem for last year with Sacred Sword, of course. Iron Hands is going to come out. I am just going to make a Dazzling Gleam play. And I'm going to swap out to Cresselia to absorb the attack because I get the Rocky Helmet Chip, which I think might put the Dragonite into the range of the Dazzling Gleam. Let's see if that's going to be the case. If not, I still think I, it's nice to have Heatran still around potentially, but we'll see. Extreme Speed going to come out once again. Yep. Going to target down the Cresselia. Unfortunately, they did crit me, which is a very bad crit. Because now Water Shifu might actually be able to knock me out. So that's really not good. Dragonite, it does get eliminated. Okay. Oh, that might be a really bad crit. Because Heavy Slam, I'm going to KO the Flutter Main. Yep. That's a really bad crit timing, actually. That's so bad. Going to go into Heatran. Oh, Flutter me in it. Okay. So, it should be Specs. Hmm. Interesting. 
Uh, the problem is I don't know who they're tarting here. Really problematic, actually. I think I want a flash cannon and I want a trick room. I don't know if I knock out the flutter main in one shot, but we'll see. I'm just gonna... Yeah, I'm gonna go for the trick room. Because they can only KO one with flutter main if they go for shadow ball, okay? Uh, I mean, I guess that doesn't make a difference with the crit. Well, it could have because I could have terrored potentially. Here comes a flash cannon into the flutter main. It does pick up the knockout, so there is a chance we can win this. Not an easy one, though. Okay. Brain punch into the heat train. Can Glacier come back in this? That's going to be a big question. That's going to be a big question. The so Rillaboom goes down. I get to go out into my Glastrier. It's going to be a tough one. I will... I think if there's any time to tear it's now. I'm going to Iron Defense. The reason I want to tear it now is because I think they're going to start with a Drain Punch instead of a Wall Charge. To get maybe some recovery back. And I want to limit the damage that they can heal with recovery. So, go for the Terra now with Glastria again. Iron Defense up. And hope that this isn't Swords Dance on the Iron Hands, which I don't think it should be. Nice. They did go for the Drain Punch. That's good. That's a good start. So, we go for an Iron Defense 1. I think I have to go for two Iron Defenses and then I can maybe beat the Hands that way. Did they ever Terra? No, they Terra the Dragonite earlier already. Protect here. And what's nice is they're going to be inclined to wall charge, which means they're going to be taking recoil, which is still pretty good. Okay. I just got to make sure that I... Like, this is going to be really close of an end game. I need two body presses at plus four to KO hands. And depending on how much damage Glastrier takes. I'm going to go for my second iron defense here. Wall charge. Okay, I tanked that really well, actually. Really well. I think Iron Defense last year should have this. Nice. Plus four now. There's no way you have Sword Stance because he had Wild Charge, Drain Punch, Heavy Slam, and the last move is Sumily Fake Out. There's no way you have Sword Stance on with Heavy Slam. So just play it as safe safe game of getting as much left of his recovery as possible and body press should be a two shot on match and this is plus four last year last year is a very tangy pokemon as we already saw like how much it took from the drain punch in neutral so let's go for that body press now because this uh, a plus six won't change anything i'm pretty sure because it doesn't give me a knockout in the iron hands even with the recoil and two body pressure should be enough to take oh actually no plus six would have KO'd that did all that plus four actually did more than I fought to the iron hand, so ends up working out really well. Uh they need to crit me anyway. So like protect doesn't change anything. Yep. Oh thank goodness they didn't crit me. <laughs> thank goodness they didn't crit me again. Alright, body press is gonna KO the iron hands. Goodbye, iron hands. Beautiful. Beautiful. Iron defends Glastier taking a victim of Iron Hands. 1v1ing that monstrous Pokemon. <laughs> Even with super effective moves. <laughs> Gyarados, Tornadus, Chiyu, Golden Go, Iron Hands, and Landers. Double Intimidate. All right, with Golden Go. Golden Go is kind of tough. We do have a Heatran, though. Heatran's quite scary for them, but. Okay, getting Trick Room up is pretty hard with this Cresselia set. It is pretty hard with this Cresselia set. I do really like uh, the Urshifu though. Urshifu puts on the pressure against Chiyu, Golden Go, and a little bit against Torn, which are like the main Pokemon that do threats into Cresselia. I think I want to do Cresselia plus Urshifu. And then I think I have Heatran in the back. I don't know if I want Rillaboom. I think I kind of want Glastrier, although I am bringing Triple Fighting Week, which is not great. I don't really like Fluttermane this matchup too much. Like, I like the idea if I can set up Trick Room, I can probably sweep with Glastrier. While Reelaboom does have a pretty tough time of struggling 
against this damage wise because just double intimidate at least with last year i can set up with uh iron defense and body press and i also have a way to pressure to chi you so let's see how this is going to perform i'm not 100 percent certain on what sets i'm really expecting probably specs golden go i'd say but i'm not too sure on the others we're gonna see the landers and the golden go so okay which i will gladly take this is a completely fine lead for me here i can just go for helping hand wicked blow i think into the golden go and should be enough to pick up the ko so i think i would just go for that I don't think it'd be Scarf, most likely. The Landers can't pick up a knockout right here. The only way I'm really scared here is if they Rock Tomb. We are going to see a Terra come out. Let's see if uh, I can pick up the knockout. I feel like I should be able to, but maybe I'm wrong here. It is Terra Steel. I could have went for helping in close combat, but like... I don't know if I exactly want to risk that if I don't know what Terra to Golden Go is. Because it could be like a Nasty Plot set too on this team, I suppose. With the double Intimidate support, so... Just gonna go for the helping hand wicked blow here i am fast there's not scarf on the landers i do just pick up the knockout on a golden go so goodbye golden go <laughs> so that's a very nice immediate knockout especially for my glass year no longer have to worry about that factor we are going to see u turn come out of cresselia which is great because i get to even keep my sash under shifu which is actually like really a big deal because of the chiyu potentially in the back and it was chiyu it is going to be getting hit by this close combat by my or shifu so I'll gladly take that. <laughs> it's going to be Iron Hands coming in, though. Okay. Is it Iron Hands plus Chi you done? I can definitely see Iron Hands plus Chi you coming out. We're just fine for me. Although, I guess this could be a bit common. No, they go on the Landers again. All right. Little bit surprised, but it's okay. Hmm. I do want to detect here, and I think I just want to go for a Lunar Blessing. Because I don't want to get Trick'em up yet, because I just dreads in the Landers with Wicked Blow the following turn, so I don't see why I would go for that. I don't know who they're faking out, but either way, it's probably okay. I think Lunar Blessing is just like a pretty good cover option. Land is going to retreat. I mean, Intimidate does not affect my Wicked Blow. Um, I guess maybe the Close Combats? It's not Chiyu, it's Torn in the back. Okay. So maybe they were just trying to break the sash on the or Shifu here? Because I get a free Lunar Blasting with Cresselia, so I get back to he I get back quite a bit of HP here. Alright. Brain Punch. Into what was their Shifu? Alright. I think I'm just gonna get my Trick Room up now. I'm gonna wicked blow the torn and I'm just gonna go for the Trick Room because I wanna get in my Glass Air now. If they go for Taunt, that means I still have my sash on her Shifu, which means I survive an extra turn. If they go for, I don't know, Liquid Storm, that's fine. I get a free Wicked Blow into the Torn slot, and that's still really good for me. So I'll gladly take, I'll gladly take this position. You go for Tailwind. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't gone for Trick Room yet, so they, I felt like, okay, I could just go for the Trick. Oh, they even Volt Switch too to break a Sash, but uh, I'm feeling a Forfeit coming in before the Glass G is coming in. <laughs> Land is coming in. But yeah, I'm just clicking Wicked Blow over and over into the Torn slot. And yeah, we're... <laughs> this is not pretty for my opponent. Wicked Blow into the Torn. Good damage. Rocky Helmet Torn. Okay, good to confirm that. Rick comes out. And yeah, I was just trying to set... Like, I was fine if her Shifu went down. I was just trying to get my free switch in the glass tree here, but... Sure. I'm going to just Wicked Blow here, and I think I'm just going to swap hard into my glass year because i think i can <laughs> so a little bit shocked by how this order has been coming out but absolutely fine here i want to wicked blow the torn and just make sure because like i could get an attack boost off the uh, landers with the icicle crash i don't know if iron hands is coming in for a slot but it's fine yeah like if they switch out the landers into the uh hands this is a really good spot for me yep did they taunt? Ooh, self so scary phase. Okay, okay, okay. Yet the thing is, my glass shear is in. That's the threat I need. Wicked blow into the torn. Goodbye, torn. Beautiful. Okay. Nice. 
And the thing is, I don't know how they're preserving their... I don't know how they're preserving their... Uh, even with this... It's actually going to be pretty good for me. Once I knock out this Landers, I'm in a really good spot. So... I think I'm just going to go for a double protect. I can just easily stall out my own Trick Room, which is kind of funny. The Trick Room's done its job, basically. I'm just going to double protect here. Then I'm just going to Iron Defense and uh, go for the... Uh, the Wicked Blow into the Landers slot. And then I'm in a pretty good spot. I don't know if I want Terra on anything. I guess Terra Tran is probably like the best Terra here. Because it makes me neutral to the Iron Hands Drain Punch. I guess. I guess I'll just choose to Terra the Heatran. Because I don't want to tear. I don't need to tear the Glass Trier. There's Wall Charge Factor. Or Shifu. I could get the KO. But Iron Hands could be targeting down the. I don't know who Iron Hands is going to target down exactly. Like. The Landers is kind of threatened by both Pokemon, so kind of a weird position. So double protect. Imagine if Iron Hands just got Unseen Fist. What a world that would be. Please never make that a reality. <laughs> I think that would actually be like a crazy combo. Not as broken as Urshifu, because Urshifu just crits through it. So at least you can intimidate the Iron Hands, but still. <laughs> okay. Wicked Blow, the Landris, go for the Iron Defense, don't crit me immediately, and we're completely fine. If you want to Drain Punch the or Shifu, that's okay. I just want to make sure that I don't get into a terrible position if they if I miss Crash immediately. So having a plus two will help give me a safety margin and also like not have to worry about like drain punching is crazy mess they actually go for a wall charge in the glass chair maybe they're expecting the terra but it works out for me because i'm able to get a wicked blow off into the landris and that's still really good damage yep and stomping tantrum into the glass chair but that took a lot actually that did take a lot i wonder if that's choice band landris that did do a lot of damage and i guess this team i could definitely see it being choice band uh, might as well just go into Cresselia now and just go for the body press KO into the Landris because I can guarantee the KO into Landris now. Unless, of course, they crit me, but I think it's probably okay. Cresselia coming in. I feel like it is choice ban in Landris. They do go for the Drain Punch. They don't crit me, thankfully, and that should be a wrap then if, it, if they can't crit me because I can body press and knock out the Landris. I get the attack boost, but not that big of a deal. So I'm just back to neutral, but I'm also just going to spam body press against the Iron Hands. Probably just Lunar Blessing a bit. The Trick Room is going to expire, but since the Torn went for self scary face into the Iron Hands, feeling pretty dang good about the situation. <laughs> feeling pretty dang good about the situation. So getting rid of Golden Gold was absolutely huge. Getting a position I can get Trick Room up allowed me for a very nice position. And now I can go for Iron Defense again plus the Lunar Blessing and heal back. And again, it's going to come down to crit. And maybe last year I can live one crit. Maybe. Maybe. I'm not 100% certain, but maybe. That was going to be forfeit because they realized. <laughs> so nice. A surprise note, Chiyu. Ended up working out really well. Just being able to knock out Golden Go. Darker Shifu. Really dumb. <laughs> really dumb. <laughs> Tornadus, Chiyu, Sylveon, Landris, Farian, Rillaboom, Iron Bundle. Okay, very fast offensive pace team. I don't really like dealing with these teams just because... Uh, dealing with these teams is not that fun for me. Because hmm. I don't... I'm not exactly the best against like Iron Bundle plus Chiyu. That is not a combo you would expect to normally face with this team. Uh, how do I want to approach this? I might actually have to lead Glastrier and just immediately body press, which is not ideal. Hmm. Oh, I'm trying to figure out, is there a safe solution here? Because I, I don't think our Shifu is as good as this in this one. I think it's probably like Glastrier. I think it's Glastrier Cresselia. Try to bait like attacks into Cresselia and go to Heatran. Real boom support. Like Fluttermane's not that great in this matchup because it doesn't do nearly enough damage. And also, like Iron Bundle kind of shuts it down. Like Iron Bundle Chi is actually like so weird for this matchup. <laughs> it really is. <laughs> we'll see what we can do here. 
I'm gonna try to maybe do like a surprise turn one Terra and knock see if I can even knock out the Chi. I don't even know if I can knock out the Chi in one hit with the body press. We'll find out, I suppose. That's kind of like my hope right here. Gonna be Chi Yu and Reelaboom. Okay. Versus Cresselia and Glastri Air. Okay. Grassy Seed, Reelaboom. Huh. Also, is that really slow Chi Yu? Grassy Surge went before the Beats of Rune, but I can't really recall at the moment. I think I'm just going to go in a Heatran on a potential fire move. And I'm going to go for an Icy Wind here. The reason I'm going to go for Icy Wind is because I don't want to be trapped by the Stomping Tantrum from the Reelaboom. And I'm just... Just want an Icy Wind to put my Heatran in a speed position. We're going to see a Terra come out from my opponent. So, I don't know what Terra this is. Is this Chi Yu? It's Chi Yu. Okay. Terra Ghosts to avoid a body press. Okay. More close combat potentially from the Glastrier. Take out on the Crest is not too surprising. All right. I wonder if I can trade for the Chi Yu. They go for the Overheat immediately, actually. Okay. That's definitely choice back, so good to confirm on that. All right. <laughs> so if I did switch out the other slot, but I wasn't sure if this was Dark Pulse or if this was Overheat. That is Overheat, so... I'm going to go out into my Glastrier. And I'm just going to click Heat Wave, and I'm going to click Protect. I have no idea if the Reel Boom has Protect or not. Basically, I think the Heat Trend is safe to just click Heat Wave at this point. It's like not an awful position. Like, if I get rid of Real Boom, I'm free to Terra Water, and I'm in a pretty decent situation if I do Terra Water, I suppose. But yeah. Not the best turn one. I, if I switched out to Heatran, I would have looked amazing. But of course, like, I can't exactly read the guaranteed overheat right there on the choice spec set. Okay, we're going to see Sylveon come in, which is fine, because Sylveon doesn't threaten any damage. And we also saw the Terra earlier committed. And it looks like they're going to give me the Real Boom. So if I just land this Life Repeat Wave, I should get it. Nice. So that's a really good KO into the... That's a really good KO right there. Perfect. Go back a bit of grassy terrain, which is actually going to be important for potential specs. Dark Pulse. Is this Landers or is this Chi coming in, I guess? Well, if it's Landers, I just crash. So it's not that big of a deal. Because they can't Terra anymore. So it's like, even though we haven't had the best start... It's still like a very winnable game. We're going to see the Chiyu come in. Okay. Going to go with my game plan and just go for the Terra here. Uh, Ice doesn't really... Uh, I mean, Ice helps me with Iron Bundle. That's really it. I'm just going to go for a Heat Wave though and a Rash. I don't want to Flash Cannon to Sylveon. Pick up the Knock. I might want to Flash Cannon to Sylveon actually. Yeah, I'm going to Flash Cannon to Sylveon and I'm just going to go for the Crash. Or should I Iron Defense? Is there anything in the back Iron Defense helps me with? Not really. I think I'm just going to go crash the Chi Yu. And the reason I'm going to go for this play is because I'm really scared of like how much Hyper Voice under Beats of Ruin does. I guess it's not Choice Spec Sylveon, but I still feel like the Hyper Voice would still do a lot of damage to the Glastrier. So, because I could lock the Chi Yu into a move right here, potentially. Let's see if that's going to be the case. We're going to see no protect. Nice. He turns faster than the Chi Yu as well. So, I can heat wave it the next turn, which is actually pretty big. So, I'm actually, like, pretty happy with just KOing the, uh, KOing the Sylveon right here with Flash Can. So, that's nice. Snarl going to come out, which is actually a pretty big deal. Does lower my special attack, but I do get a free Icicle Crash into the Chi Yu, which is nice. Okay, perfect. Good damage. Alright. Let's see who's coming out. It's probably Iron Bundle. If it's Iron Bundle, I have a plan. Yeah, if it's Iron Bundle, I have a plan. That's Torn. Okay. So I think I'm in a really good position, if I'm not mistaken. Hey, I think... How many turns of terrain are left? Two. I might want to just protect the heat trend, make sure all the moves are spread damage. I do have to hit one move. <laughs> I do have to hit one move, and that would be the crash. I'm going to crash the Chi because I know it can't protect, and I know it doesn't have a sash or anything. 
because this could be like snarl here maybe tailwind snarl yeah they're going for tailwind snarl and hoping that i miss a crash that definitely makes sense as the win con so because if i did if the torn went for like bleak winds then they risk a life or flash cannon ko into chi yu because i outspeed so they're just hoping for the crash miss at this point and thankfully i don't miss so i am able to get the crash knockout into the chi yu so Oh, <laughs> thank goodness, Glastria. Thank goodness. <laughs> she is absolutely an insane mom, but we are able to pull through here. Get the attack boost, so now we can guarantee knock out the Torn. Get all this leftovers in grassy terrain healing. Uh, I think I'm just going to go for a heat wave and a crash here. I don't mind missing here and staying in because the main reason I kind of want to stay in is so I can get more grassy terrain healing from Reelaboom because I can reset the terrain, which is beneficial to my Heatran as well as my Glastrier. I don't think they can really beat the Heatran anyway. Although Bleak Wind Storm, I'm on a fragile Heatran, so that's the main reason I want to go for it. But yeah, still able to pull out very nicely. Even after the disasters turn one, no trick room setup. I uh, was able to take some pretty good knockouts later on in the game in order to come back. Obama Snow, Articuno, Heatran, or Shifu, Tornadus, Landers. Is this darker water or Shifu? Because I feel like it could be dark, and dark is actually really bad for this team. Eh, not a fun matchup, I'd say, but definitely playable. I don't think I want to bring Reeloboom. I don't think Reeloboom's that good here. Or Shifu could be, I suppose. Wicked Blow does do a lot of damage to the team, but I would probably prefer not. I might as well take advantage of the snow defense increase style that they could give me. I think I'm going to go Flutter Main plus Heatran. Because I can maybe catch them a little bit off guard and then have the Glastrier with the Cresselia in the back. I don't really like Rillaboom too much in this matchup. It only helps if it's Water Shifu and my owner Shifu. It's kind of a weird position. I could bring it. It's kind of fragile though and I don't know what position because like... I don't know if I'll have a good position where it's like either next to Flutter Main or under Trick Room. It can be a little bit awkward depending on like what they bring. I know Glass Year is just going to be consistent to their team. It's really strong against a lot of their members and especially with one Iron Defense set up. Meanwhile, Heatran's a good lead. Cresselia is kind of needed for the Glass Year. Or Shifu's just like that awkward Pokemon. I just don't know if I can position well enough in order to be in a good spot to sweep their team so i'd rather just go with like what i know could i could position well let's see gonna be articuno tornadus interesting lead okay i'm not too scared of articuno immediately off the bats i think i'm just gonna go for a shadow ball or dazzling Gleam. i think i want chip I'm going to Dazzle and Gleam. I think I'm going to swap to Cresselia. Because I'm just scout. I'm just trying to see if I can bait out a Terra from Articuno. Because I could easily just go for a Heat Wave and do a ton of damage to Articuno. But I'd rather just like see. Because I've seen Terra Ground. I've seen Terra Water. I could see the Terra Blast. This is a frail Heatran. So I think it's probably better not for me to go for it. But let's see if that's going to be the case. So bring out Cresselia that can easily sponge up an attack. They retreat to Articuno, which is fair too. What's coming in? He tran of themselves. Okay. Talon comes out from the Torn. That's fine. Get a free Dazzling Gleam off. Not bad damage. Leftovers on Heatran confirmed. If it's Substitute, that could be a little bit awkward. But overall, this is kind of fine. I think I'm just going to double Icy Wind. Because I don't think I need... I don't think I need Trick Room, actually, now that I think about it. I'm just going to Icy Wind because, yeah, I know Taunt's coming. I think Shadow Ball and Icy Wind doesn't pick up the Knockout into the Torn. So I might as well just go for Icy Winds and lower the Heatran speed stat. Because it's going to matter for my own Heatran, which is pretty big. And it could matter for Glass Shear outside of, like, Hailwind expiring. I might as well just go for it. Heat wave doesn't do that much. Burn is a little bit annoying. Burn is a little bit annoying. Do get an icy wind off again. Okay. Let's 
So, not bad. Is it a Bombastone in the back? I just don't know if it's a Bombastone in the back. Because I like feel like Articuno is really weak if you don't bring the a Bombastone. And unless you have Freeze Dry on the set, which maybe. I like to go for a Dazzling Gleam once again, and I think I'm going to go out into Heatran. Because I want to reset the Lunar Blessing. I don't want... Or I want to reset this Taunt. I don't want to take too much damage with my Cresselia. They might go for an Earth Power Rage. If they do, fantastic play on their side. I'm going for Dazzling Gleam because I don't need the extra Icy Wind at this moment. Actually, did I Dazzling Gleam or did I Icy Wind? I think I went for Dazzling Gleam just to make sure I hit the Torn. It also covers any switches, like if they try to go greedy into like our Shifu for some reason. If it's darker Shifu, they're usually Adamant, so I probably don't have... So Fluttermane should probably still outspeed. Actually, I don't remember how fast this Fluttermane is. Okay. Thousand Gleam. Finishes off the Torn. A little bit of chip into the Heatran. Got a Heat Wind again. Okay, perfect. So I do get a free Flash Fire boost. All right, let's see who to bring out next. I don't know. Do I want to Terra Glastrier or do I want to Terra? I feel like I'd probably want to Terra the Heatran more than the Glastrier, but we'll see. This could be Articuno coming in. No, it is our Shifu. What our Shifu are you? Terra Water. Okay. So I'm gonna go for. As in Gleam, and I'm gonna swap out into Cresselia actually. Because if they surging strikes my Heatran, I'm in a good spot. This also could be Earth Power, and I want to scout for it. I, if I had Terra Blast, I would just go straight for the Terra Blast, I think. But yeah, I don't think this is a bad position. I want to see if I can maybe bait a Terra from the Heatran. Or maybe the Urshifu. Because, like, just knowing if I can Earth Power safely into the Heatran. Without risking the Terra. Because if they switch an Articuno, at least, like, they don't get an attack off. Bring out the Cresselia. They detect, which is fine. Okay. Are they turning the Heatran or are they turning down the... So they want to scout for the Terra Blast, which makes sense. Earth Power into the Flutter Main. This is where the burn damage might have mattered from earlier. But okay. Ah, this is where it's gonna get a little bit complicated. I'm gonna bring out the heat trend. <laughs> this is where it's gonna get tough. I really wanna. I think I'm gonna Earth Power. I want to Earth Power to Urshifu? Probably. I don't know if they're going to switch to Articuno or not. That's my only question. I'm going to Icy Wind and I'm going to Earth Power. If they go Articuno, it's annoying, but it's definitely playable still. I just don't know what the Heatran moveset is, but they do stay in. So I'm assuming this is going to be targeted into Heatran. Probably a close combat, I'd imagine. But I can Lunar Blessing pretty safely to Heatran, which is fine. And then I think Glastrier can still pretty much win this endgame. A Surging Strikes, which is actually amazing for me. But I guess they didn't want to take the, the, the decreases. Okay. Perfect. Please it's Icy Wind Cresselia. Nice damage. Really good damage, actually. Nice. Okay. Big Icy Wind hit into the Urshifu. Heat Wave. They powered up my Heat Transfer. I really want to Flash Cannon to Urshifu because I think the Urshifu either switches out or stays in or stays in protects. I'm going to Lunar Blessing here. I guess, like, this isn't too bad either because I do like the position of Glastrier coming up. But, uh, yeah. Uh, I feel like Articuno switches in on the Earth Power. 
or I really think so, but maybe it's not guaranteed. We'll find out together, I suppose. I'm going to Lunar Blessing heal. I don't want to give it to Heatran a flash fire because if I get Heatran a flash fire, that's actually really bad. I wonder who's faster though, Articuno or... Oh, they stayed in. Is this Heatran Terra? Okay, so we finally forced this Tran to Terra, which is good. That actually helps me a lot because last year I might be able to knock out the Heatran in the upcoming turns, which is actually pretty good. Ah, they stayed in with the Urshifu to attack. But I actually KO'd the Flash Cannon. Okay. I wasn't sure. It looks close. But I wasn't expecting it to. That actually helps me a lot here. Because I get a free Lunar Blessing. Beautiful. And I heal back my Cresselia and my Heatran, which is really good. So if they Heat Waved, I have HP. Yeah, perfect, 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 perfect. Oh, that's even better. That's even better. Okay. I think last year is in a really prime spot to win now. I don't know if the Articunos run Protect. I don't think they do. <laughs> But I am just going to go for... I just don't... What's our Kuno's base speed? There's no way you're faster than the Heatran, right? I just refuse to believe that Articuno... Articuno's what? Base 80, right? Base 80. There's no way you run that fast. Because I'm timid. I'm like timid Tran. There's no way. I'm running... I'm going for Helping Hand Flash Cannon. I think I KO the Articuno. Just don't be... Just don't bright powder me now. Okay. <laughs> Flash cannon into the Articuno picks up the knockout. Beautiful. Because <laughs> bright powder is an item that they can carry and I do not want to deal with it. So Flash cannon, beautiful. They go for another heat wave. They really want to get rid of this Cresselia as much as possible, but... Cresselia is just sticking around and now I can just go for a flash cannon into the Heatran. I'm going to go for a, another Lunar Blessing, I guess. And then afterward, like, yeah, they really do not have much. The Heatran is just icy wind at this point. I have a Glass Dreer in the back that can handle. I was trying to, like, position for maybe a Glass Dreer to sweep again. That's why I was trying to get those icy winds early on because it would affect the Heatran much. Because I didn't think they were swapping for the most part. Maybe there was a chance they switched an Articuno on an Earth Power, potentially, if they didn't want to commit to Terra. But... Overall, I think the important one was getting that flash cannon damage. I wonder if the earth power was a low roll and the flash cannon was a high roll, or it was just that much damage and I underestimate Heatran, but... Oh, perfect. Perfect. <laughs> Didn't even bring out the glass shear, but not losing to, thankfully, what was not the snow cloak Articuno. <laughs> All right, let's go over the games. In the first game, turn one worked out amazing, knocking out the Xi'an Pao, and thankfully, Glastier was able to 1v1 the Iron Hands in the end game. In game two, got a huge knockout onto the Golden Go, turn one with Darker Shifu that allowed me a strong position to set up and win with Glastier. In game three, the knockout into Cresselia turn one wasn't great, but was able to get significant mileage with Heatran that allowed Glastier to clean up. In game four, I traded the Tornadas for Fluttermane that allowed my Terra Grass Heatran to give my opponent some massive trouble. Very fun team overall. The Iron Defense Glastier is able to set up and do quite a bit of damage as well, boosting its defense and be able to exert a lot of offensive pressure. Leech Seed on Reelaboom would have been interesting if we were able to play some passive stuff and especially passing it off into the Glass Rear would have been really nice, but very fun team overall. If you do want to try out, the rental code is on your screen. You can check out the details of the team and the creator down below in the description. And of course, subscribe to the channel for more VGC content as always.